Alrighty, so in today's video, I want to talk about the top 5 best web browsers for the Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to be doing these tests according to speed, video playback, and system resource usage. I'm excited to see really which one does end up being the best, which one is the slowest, and just showing you guys which one you should use on a daily basis with your Raspberry Pi 4. So we'll be, we'll be looking at 5 of them, and yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, so in fifth place we have Midori. Midori is a open source browser built for Linux that is actually not built on any or any other engine. It's not built on Firefox, it's not built on Chromium, it's its own thing. So it runs pretty well on the Raspberry Pi 4, but I would definitely not consider it one of the best. So before we go into test, if we open up our terminal right here, with HTOP right now we are using about 200 megabytes of RAM. So let's see how much we're using after web browsing. So we open up Midori right here, let's search for like Raspberry Pi 4 so you see it is a bit slower on the other slower side and the installation of this web browser is pretty easy i'll leave the commands to all these web browsers in the description below so if you want to test them out you can easily do so but you see raspberry pi 4 pretty quickly loaded up we scroll the scrolling is a bit like cutty and it just doesn't look the greatest it definitely is one of the slower ones but like we're on the raspberrypi.com right here and you see the web i'm scrolling down and it kind of is just like glitching a bit but overall it's i mean it's definitely usable it's not the worst but this is kind of why i put it in fifth place because it wasn't the greatest web browser and it's not the best so let's say we want to look at youtube.com right now and test out some video playback because i'm interested to see how much the video playback actually ends up being and on we look at our ram usage right now with this web browser open right now we are using 480 megabytes of ram so it is a bit on the higher side compared to some other web browsers on the raspberry pi which is actually kind of surprising so right here we have the 720p video and video playback on here, Midori, sadly, is not the greatest. So Midori definitely is probably the worst web browser on this list. That's why it's on number five, because everything kind of ends up being a bit slow on here. Web browsing is kind of slow. The video playback here, you see, YouTube just kind of glitches. But it is better than some other web browsers I've tested on the Raspberry Pi. But still, it's you see the video playback, like it's not even really playing. So, Midori, I definitely wouldn't really recommend using it on your Raspberry Pi 4. But if you want to test it out, feel free so. But yeah, this is Midori. Alrighty, so for web browser number two, we're gonna have Vivaldi. Vivaldi is not an open source browser, it's closed source, but it's built on Chromium and it, it is kind of an interesting browser. And to install this, you just go over to the Vivaldi website right here, you download the dev file for ARM32 systems, and then you just double click and it installs on Raspberry Pi OS. So it's really easy to install, but the performance is eh. I mean, it's not the greatest. It definitely does look really cool. I like the looks of this uh, web browser. It really looks kind of modern and it feels amazing, but the downsides being closed source kind of runs a bit slow. And yeah, so that is the downsides, but it is Chromium based. So all your syncing and stuff like that will work pretty well on this web browser. Now let's take a look at some like um, web browsing. So we type Raspberry Pi 4. And you see it loads up pretty quickly. I mean, it's definitely faster than Midori. You can definitely say that. It loads up pretty quickly. Our speed and stuff, they are all really responsive. If we go over to the site right here, it also does work really well. I mean, it is kind of slowy and glitchy, but if we look at our system resource usage, with Midori, or not Midori, with Vivaldi right now, we're using 549 megabytes. So it's more RAM than Midori, but our performance is a bit better in my opinion. And if we want to look at this tab right here, I really like this feature. We just hover over it and it kind of gives us that glimpse of it, which is kind of cool. Chromium does have that, but it's cool that they in implemented that into Vivaldi as well. Now I'll take a look at some video playback youtube.com real fast look at some big buck bunny and then we'll be on to see the next web browser so with all you see i mean it's a really nice looking web browser but i wouldn't really use this as a my daily operating system on my raspberry pi due to speed and stuff because it really is kind of slow i thought i was typing that in but i wasn't here we go big buck bunny and the 720p video let's see how good that actually ends up playing 
so you see also in Vivaldi video playback is not the greatest this is why it's at number four because it's a bit bad on the video playback side it's kind of a more heavy web browser for the Raspberry Pi 4 so it definitely does slow down on terms of video playback and stuff like that so that is kind of a bummer to see it running this slowly and this is just not watchable like I would just close this out so Vivaldi is number four on my list. It's definitely a slower web browser. It's easy, but it's easy to install and it's a really nice looking one. So you can choose if you want to use it or not, but I probably would not. And yeah, this is Vivaldi. And for number three, we have the all famous Chromium web browser. Chromium is an open source browser built on Chromium, obviously, and it comes pre-installed on Raspberry Pi OS. It's loved by many people, but lately it's been getting some hate because it lost sync with Google accounts, which is really a huge bummer. You used to be able to sync your Google accounts, your bookmarks, and history between different devices. So it was a really useful feature that allowed people to share their history and stuff, and Google recently removed that from Chromium. So that is a huge bummer. That's why it's at three rather than a higher one, because I really did like that feature. It helped me in different tabs and stuff, and it was really useful. So it's really sad that they removed that, but it still is an amazing browser for the Raspberry Pi 4 with tons of speed. Let's type in Raspberry Pi, and I mean this thing is just quick. This thing works really well. We can just launch like a tab right here. I mean, of course it's well. It comes pre-installed on Raspberry Pi OS. I really don't need to mention the performance that much because you probably already know a lot of it. But our RAM usage with this is about 400 megabytes. It's around average, not that too, not high, not bad. And yeah, so now some video playback. Obviously you don't have to install this because it comes pre-installed on Raspberry Pi OS. And what am I typing in? I need to go to youtube.com real fast and we go to YouTube our RAM usage does go up a little bit but that is kind of understandable because YouTube does use a bit more RAM if we just go to the search engine you see I mean YouTube you see still is a bit slow in here it's not the fastest which we still need fast YouTube video playback which no web browser no operating system can really bring to us at the moment maybe in the future I'm really hoping one day that we will get better video playback but yeah but chromium is definitely the best web browser I've tested out so far in this list there's still are more to come so check those out too but I mean, this is pretty smooth video playback, obviously. We're dropping five frames on a 720p video, which is still kind of sad that we're dropping frames, but it still is pretty good. Our RAM usage did go up to about 600. It's already, and yeah, so this is Chromium on our Raspberry Pi. And for number two, we have Firefox. And this is not the Firefox ESR version. This is the full-fledged Firefox that comes on like Ubuntu. And how I got this installed is a bit harder. I had to add the Ubuntu repositories and then basically install it with the Ubuntu rep repositories. I'll leave the commands for this in the description below. So if you do want to install the full-fledged Firefox, you can do so. And if you want to see that is not e ESR version, we go over to help and we go to about firefox and you, you can see this is a latest version 88 and i mean it works really well on here it's it's better than chromium in my opinion it's amazing let's type in like raspberry pi raspberry pi org and you see it loads up really quickly and it is just super responsive it's it's better than chromium in my opinion it works incredibly well and the smoothness is amazing and it is really just an amazing browser it is better than the esr version because you have all the latest features and firefox is obviously based on its own thing it's not based off anything else and it is a really nice browser and you see right here on when we're using Firefox, we're using about 500 megabytes of RAM, which is okay for a web browser. It's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but for this type of performance, it is really good. Like we open up another tab, Amazon.com, and we have three tabs open right here. Our RAM usage is about 500 megabytes. So now let's take a look at some video playback. We go over to YouTube and go to search and right here we already have it big buck bunny you see this thing is loading up quick this is more responsive than chromium it's really amazing to see this responsiveness i'm just happy about this it's amazing stats for nerds and the 720p video right here we're, we're dropping zero zero chromium was dropping five and firefox we're dropping zero man that is good 
So that is very encouraging to see. Uh, the gear icon right here, oh, we're at 480 right now. Up that to 720 real fast. And then we might be dropping a little more. We're still dropping zero. So this thing is really incredible. Firefox is better than Chromium on Raspberry Pi OS, at least in my experience. And if you want to install it, I will leave the guide in the description below. It's really easy to do so. And yeah, this is Firefox. Alrighty, in last place, you can probably guess this one if you are a regular viewer of my channel. I just love the Puffin browser on the Raspberry Pi. It's a cloud-based web browser and it runs so darn smooth on the Raspberry Pi 4. This thing, after testing out all these other browsers, this guy is like, I am speed. This guy is so fast, he's so responsive and it is amazing and we're only using 200 megabytes of RAM right now. If we go open up a tab real fast, you'll see how quickly this thing actually responds. Let me make it full screen, and it's really easy to install as well. You just go over to this website, download the dev file, and then install it. It's super easily, and it's super good. And but one thing I do not really like about this, for some reason, it automatically scales it to 150%. I don't really know why it does that. It's kind of annoying, but there is probably a setting that I could change to fix that. But you see right here, I click on it. Look at this guy, it loads up so quickly. I open up a new tab right here, I just type Amazon, give it a second, look how fast this guy is. This thing is like, I am speed. This thing is so incredibly quick, it's so responsive, and I just don't know, how. it's basically because of the cloud, but if you wanna use a good web browser on your Raspberry Pi 4, Puffin might be the way to go because you will get amazing performance. This, the scrolling down, everything is so smooth and it is really an amazing browser. Now to take a look at some video playback. Video playback on here also is really good. It's so smooth and it's going to work incredibly fast. Open up YouTube right here. You see again, it's doing that 150 scale thing. I don't really like that. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying, but... I guess I can live with it. For speed, I can live with it. Thick book bunny, you see it loads up really quickly compared to other web browsers. We click on the gear icon right here, it loads up immediately. We launch this guy to 720p. Right click stats for nerds, and this guy is rocking, man. We have I mean, we're playing right here, we're not dropping many frames whatsoever, and this is just so quick. And I can have a video playing on the background, and my RAM usage is about 400 megabytes, 500 megabytes. It really is pretty good compared to other web browsers, and I don't know what Puffin does. They're using the cloud service, but it really is an amazing and really smooth web browser for the Raspberry Pi 4. So yeah, to conclude this video, there are a lot of amazing web browsers for the Raspberry Pi 4, but the ones that I really recommend using on an everyday basis would be Chromium, Firefox, or Puffin. But if you really want to get good performance, Firefox or Puffin is the way to go. All these things do perform incredibly well. They're really nice web browsers, but Vivaldi and Midori are a bit more on heavy side, and they just don't run really well on the Raspberry Pi 4 at the moment. But yeah, these are my five favorite web browsers for the Raspberry Pi 4. What are your ones? Let me know down below in the comments. It would be amazing if you subscribe and thanks for watching.